You may be seated. Dear family and friends, Pernell and Alicia have come to offer themselves to God and to each other in holy matrimony. God is the one who established marriage for our welfare and our enjoyment. Marriage makes sacred the union between a man and a woman and offers to each other the opportunity to grow together and to manhood and into womanhood. Our Lord has declared that a man shall leave his parents and shall unite with his wife. He has commanded through his apostles that husbands and wives love and cherish each other throughout their lives and they shall give each other strength and compassionate understanding and together they will share joy and sometimes pain. The Creator offers to them the privilege and responsibility of parenthood and joins them together to support each other in raising their children. These two have heretofore traveled separate paths. They come now to bring those paths together to become as one. If anyone here gathered together know any reason why they should not be married, let them say so now or forever hold their peace. Who gives this woman to be married? We do. Give me your right hand. Give me your right hand. Give me your Wilt thou have this woman to thy wedded wife to live together after God's word in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep thee only unto her so long as you both shall live? Can I kiss you now? No. I do? Alicia. Will you have this man to be your wedded husband, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep the only unto him so long as you both shall live? I do. That was the charge I just gave to them. At this time, we're gonna have a scripture and a prayer by Minister Jackson, and then we'll come back to the vows. Scripture, Ephesians 5, 25 through 33. Husbands, love your wives just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her, that he might sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of the water by the word, that he might present to himself, glorious church, not having spots or wrinkles or any such thing, but that she should be holy and without blemish. So husbands ought to love their wives, own wives, as their own body. He who loves his wife loves himself, for no one ever hates his own flesh. <clears throat> nourish and cherish you just as long as the Lord does the church. <coughs> Amen. Okay. Thank you. The prayer. <coughs> Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O eternal God, creator and preserver of all mankind, given of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send thy blessings upon thee, thy servant, this man and this woman, whom we bless in thy name, that they living faithfully together may surely perform and keep the vows covenant betwixt them made yeah, of the, this reign, of uh, these reigns, yet given oh, and may and may ever re remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to thy law through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 As I follow this guide, Amen. there are some vows that I will <clears throat> administer to Pernell and Alicia and after that they will recite their own vows. <coughs> I'm going to say this quietly and then you repeat it loudly. I, Pernell. I, Pernell, take thee, Alicia, take thee, Alicia, to my wedded wife, to my wedded wife, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for better, for worse, for richer or poor, for richer or poor, in sickness and health, in sickness and in health, to love, to love, and to cherish, and to cherish, till death do us part, to death do us part, according to God's word, according to God's word, I give you my word. I give you my word. Alicia. I, Alicia. I, Alicia. Take thee, Pernell. Take thee, Pernell. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And I promise to obey. And I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and I promise to obey. <laughs> All right. Amen. <laughs> Not, no, do I don't think she vow. said amen. So oh, oh, she said, you got to say amen now. Amen. Okay. Amen. Then. okay. <laughs> <laughs> got to make it official. I can no, kiss her now? No, oh, not okay, yet. Okay, no, okay, no, okay, no. okay, okay, okay. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Wait. Your My vows, vows first. Vows. Do I, um. Yeah, the man only goes first. Um, Alicia, Alicia, I love you with all my heart. You're my friend, confidant. Uh, I cherish you from this day forward. Um, you mean everything to me. I don't see myself living without you. I hope when I'm old and wrinkled, I hope that you're able to still smack me on my butt if need be. <laughs> but you truly have been a blessing to me. Um, from years ago. It's only, I believe, it, it's, it's God's way. Um, you mean everything to me. Your kids are my kids. Your family is my family. Um, your spirit is my spirit. Um, so wherever as far as you take me, I'm going to go as far as, you, as, as I can go as well. And I love you. I love you too. 15 and 2. 15 years, two months to this day. Thank you for being a gentleman. Thank you for being there for me as a friend, as a brother, as a leader, all the things that you teach me and you taught me. Thank you for being there for my kids. I thank you for everything. Forgive me for all my wrongs. I love you, I love you, I love you, and I vow to put God first and do as a wife is to do. I love you. I can kiss her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We come, we come. <laughs> uh, we're going to have a ring ceremony. The rings, please. You would take her rings and she would take yours. He may need to. It's all right, it's all right.
catch each other by the hand? You by the hand. Okay. You're going to use your right hand to put his finger, his ring on his finger. Y'all go I ahead and slip that. each other's ring on. Slip each other's ring on. Is it this French face? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, put his on. Y'all hold hands and look at each other and repeat after me. With this ring. With, with this, this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. wed. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. And in the name of the Son. And the Holy Ghost. And, and the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Amen. 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 Alicia and Pernell have exchanged rings. And when you look at a ring, it is a complete circle. That ring symbolizes the relationship in which they've entered into. This relationship is not to be broken. That's what that ring symbolizes. And the marriage itself is symbolic of Jesus and his church. Jesus will never ever leave his church. Jesus and the church will never ever part. So that's what Penel and Alicia are saying here today. They are saying to each other that you are not plan B. You are not my second choice. You are the only choice. You are not a rebound. Alicia is saying out of all the men in the world, if she had a pick, whether it be Dwayne Wade or whomever, <coughs> she would slam dunk Dwayne Wade because she chooses Pernell. And Pernell is saying of all the women in the world, if he could choose whether it's Kim Kardashian or whomever, he would tell Kim to keep on stepping because he chooses Alicia. That's what they are saying here today. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, bless these rings that they have exchanged with each other. We pray that they will abide in your peace, in your favor, until life ends. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen. We will have another prayer by... Heavenly Father, we come before thee asking you for our blessing right now, dear Lord. Father God, you is the God of all of us. You created all of us. And Father God, you are the maker. Father God, you know just what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Father God, we thank you for Cornell and Alicia's uh, ceremony here today. We thank you for all the family and the friends here today. Amen. Oh, Father God, we give thanks unto you yes. because you can do it. Father God, we thank you for your darling son, Jesus Christ, who is the author and the finisher of our faith. Yes. And with Cornell and Alicia, by their faith, and they believe that they will never separate or leave one another. In your son Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Now, Cornell. I can do it? You can do it now. You may. <laughs> Y'all man, <laughs> salute each other. <laughs> Amen. Y'all turn and face the face. The. Those whom God has joined together, let no man put asunder, or let no one come between them. For as much as Penel and Alicia have consented together in holy wedlock. And they have witnessed the same before God and this company, and here too have given and pledged their, their word each to each other. I now pronounce them husband and wife, and you may jump the broom. On the count of three. One. Let's go up a little bit closer. <laughs> Let me know when y'all ready. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Pernell Edwards. You look very beautiful. Thank you. I didn't see this in the car. No.